Sponsored by Bulldog Models. Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz 6510 Models and on the workbench today I have this new tooled Airfix 1 to 48 scale Canadair Sabre F4 and we have been waiting for this for over a year. I think it was announced back in 2020 just before Covid hit the decks of everything and put a stop to everything really for a few months. So. It's been a long time coming, but wow, look at the box art. Doesn't it look fabulous? So we're really looking forward to this. So what we're going to do is we'll have a look outside, outside the box first, then we'll have a look inside the box. Right, so we have this wonderful look here. I think with the uh, markings here, we'll have a look see what it says about the markings on the side. So basically you have two markings. You have number three squadron, Royal Air Force, Germany. 1954 and you also have number four squadron royal air force germany 1954 so you've got two scales that, um two schemes there sorry which is a shame because it's the uh would have been nice to have the uh the canadian air force one i think they would have been better surely for markings but that there says it's for royal air force germany on entering usaf service in 1949 the north american f-86 sabre was not only America's first swept wing fighter, but also the fastest fighter in the world. So the swept wing back, you know, it just brings, brings this to me reminds me a lot of the lightning and how they went down there. I believe it had the um, General Electric engine in it. I'm just trying to think what it was called now. J47, something like that. G12, or G13, something like that. There was in it so inside these are the paints that you're going to need quite a list there so i'm not going to go through them all it's a skill level two three flying hours in this one and there's 148 pieces and the length and the width is exactly the same so 239 millimeters by 239 millimeters length and width <laughs> so there you are so they said lovely box art you've got the warning size here side here Cartograph decals again, Boeing officially licensed product on there, and the code for it is A08109. Side of the box, you've got the box out again, massive box this, and again, you have the same other side. So, while we're here, let's um, open up the box and see what we get. Oh, it's a tough one to get into. Let's lift them up. Oh, come on. Is it still stuck somewhere? You are killing me, killing me. How would you get into this box? It is tight, so I'm going to have to do the old uh, cut a rooney at the side here because it's tight in there. Cut that through. There's one. Cut the other side. Whoops. Let's cut the side. There you go. And that's the start of how to make a flappy box. If you want to see how to make a flappy box, just um, just click there, and I'll put a link up for a flappy box. Open them up. So top opening box. Wow. One bag of parts. One instruction manual. Moving to one side. There you are. We'll put that to one side there. Wow, so it's, uh, let's make sure I'm right on camera. So yeah, it's A4 size uh, brochure, basically with a bit of black, what I would call 1960s uh, uh, newspaper, sort of <laughs> red, black and white. That's what it used to be. And starting off, tells you a little bit about the, sorry, starting off tells you a little bit about the plane there. Um, as one of the world's first classic jet fighters, which is true. You start off and basically, like, like with, or 
you, you, you're building it step by step. So going all the way down through and the seat, pillow on the back seat there. Some decals. I like the way they've got the decals now here. So that you're just, you know, basically putting, showing you where the decals are. The red are the sections you've done. Okay, so when it goes together, you know, you, basically that's the last bit you've done, I think, that's how it works. Moving on through, nice joystick there, two-part joystick. Um, going through, oh, here come the, I'll just look through the decals a extra later. Moving on through, doing all the nose of the plane now, like right the way down through, pushing all through, pilot. And then here, you've got uh, two options here, it looks like. Um, if assembling this model with the gun doors closed, follow steps 15 and 16 below. Um, miss out 17 to 32. So if you've got the gun doors open, this is all for the gun doors. And if assembling this model with the gun doors open, miss out steps 15 and 16 and go to step 17. If you want the gun doors closed, you do these steps here and then you move on to page 5. Uh, sorry, look, your page, uh, step 33 on page 7. If you want the gun doors open, this is everything here for the gun doors. Which, uh, look at that, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Is that a magazine there? Moving on through. It's going to look nice, this, isn't it? So all the added bits here for the gun doors. Everything that you need. Magazine. Uh, there's a choice there to drill a hole, which I assume is for a stand. And then you're back on to step 33 now. So you're back on here, putting the, the um, side flaps on. More there. It's looking good, actually, isn't it? Put 10 grams of weight in the nose there, because it's going to be a tail sitter else. Yeah, each section here. When building this model with the undercarriage up, assemble B29 before closing the fuselage at this step. So if you're having the, if you're having the undercarriage up, you've got to assemble part B29 which is that piece there. When building a spoiler with undercarriage up, assemble parts 26 and A3, miss out steps 42. So it's telling you step by step how to do it all basically. So now you're building up all the undercarriage underneath and the and the and the and the bay there, wheel bay. Moving through, looking nice. You can cut the tip off. When building this model with the gun doors open, cut the tip off part D6, which is there. Wow, so you've got to do some work here moving on through drilling the hose out for that then basically now you've got the fuselage together you put the wing section in underneath extra bits then for the tail ailerons everything else d10 goes into the side there i think we've got a few options on this one so obviously um if you want the doors closed that will be that section there moving down through more there more there fantastic really there's uh, two part wheels with a flat spot into the gearing there it says refer to step 86 on page 19 so you've got a choice there i think again with the um gear doors up or down i think is that is that the light what's that sorry i can't quite see what that is Let's have a look. I'm not. A, I've, I don't know much about this plane. As I said, I, you know, I'm more of an EE Lightning kind of guy. But just looking through now, more doors there to be fitted. And moving through that, the flap there. Putting on the tank. And then you start on with putting on the bits of glass. Then that's the section there for the canopy. And we're done. So yeah, there's quite a bit involved in that one. We'll have a quick look at the decals. Very, very nice decals. Let's have a little look here, get close. Can you see the decals? Um, not not too thick, I don't think. Okay, you've got cutouts there on that one. That's a nice, look at that. So yeah, two part there. So if you need to, that's fantastic, that is. So if you're doing, basically the top section as always is for common ones. And then if you're doing squadron number three, you're doing this middle layer here. If you're doing squadron number four, which is the B, you're doing that one there. Very, very nice, very crisp. And it does look like they're written on. They're not just squiggly lines. Very, very good, very good decals there, very good. 
And there you are. So there's the decals for that. you got to love this. When they do it like this. A glossy pit picture. So you've got... So I did so it's like this side first. So you've got the Royal, Royal Air Force Germany, 1954. Good call out here with the decals that are needed. Uh, research notes, photographs of the XB984 seem to indicate that this aircraft had unusual space 8-inch serial numbers on the rear fuselage. With the numbers aligned to be almost touching. How interesting. And they've tried to put that in with the decal, I suppose. So it's almost touching. So can you see that? See that? Look at the space between them. And look at the space. Almost touching. Fantastic. They're moving over to the other page, which is the one I would probably build. Um, yeah, there you go. You can't say fuck, fuck that. It looks lovely, doesn't it? And it says here, the early scheme and the position of the star-reeled side injection seat triangle is unfortunately obscured by the canopy cover. There are two main positions for the marking, it varied, so we have provided both as an option for your for the modeler to decide. So you've got two placements for the decal there. Lovely, absolutely lovely. And then you also get the stencil data, which is horrendous. There's a... <laughs> Three day on this one, lads. Three days. Three days on this one, I reckon. <laughs> so you've got the 100 gallon drop tanks plan under side views there. Brilliant. Fantastic. Sponsored by Bulldog Models. Organise your hobby bench with high quality 3D printed scale model organisers, accessories, and much more to make your life as a scale modeler easier. Visit the website and use code MOZMODELS5 for a 5% discount off your order today. Link to the website in the description box down below. Now we move on to the bag of sprues and there seems to be a lot here. Wow. Let's pull these out. Crumbs. There's a lot, isn't there? So, for the sprues, you have one, two, three, four, and one clear plastic sprue with quite a few parts in there. So, let's have a quick look at this one. Up we come. Not too bad. It's quite a long, it's quite a long one, isn't it? Considering. It's a lovely piece. No, just, yeah. So, you, you've got, if you see on the top there, it seems to be quite smooth, you know, bit of blurring going on just there I suppose you'll paint on that and then you've got all the pieces here lovely very very nice on that side of things so then we move on to frame A or sprue A so you've got the fuselage here the bottom half of the wing drop tanks just on a quick look around look at this lovely looking minimal detail on the inside of the fuselages there Look at the back end there. If we look, minimal detail on the inside. But then on the outside, you're going to have some lovely looking, whoops, lovely looking details there. Let me catch your camera, whoops. Some lovely markings on the fuselage there. The bottom of the wing. Nice bit of rivet detail there as well. Fair play. Lovely, simply lovely. You know, that's frame, that's frame. So that's frame A. So moving on to frame B, you've got some lovely detail there inside. Look at the, you can see like little bits of wiring inside. Lovely, simply lovely. Nice and crisp. See that in there, some like lots of little, um, Wires coming out through there as detail. Nice detail on the side there, into the cockpit there. See that? Nice. Just turn them over. Yeah. Not looking too bad. Brilliant. So that was frame B or sprue B. Frame C, there's the pilot there. See the pilot? There he is. He's in, he's twerking. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Oh, he's in the twerking. Oh, I have a hole out there of his behind. And then 
you can see there's the 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 seat there i'll try and move him around in the camera there's the whoops cut the camera then there's the seat we'll cover the camera again there's the seat So that must be two-part joystick, isn't it? That there, two-part joystick. Detail there on the on the pieces look very nice. Little stud or rivet data there. Whoops, getting getting close. Come on, there you go. There's the uh, the wheels with hubs on. Cracking. There you go. But the uh, undercarriage there, nice detail on the undercarriage. Very, very well done. I'm liking this. I'm going to look forward to building this. And fin finally, the last pieces. Whoops, keep hanging my head. So I'm up in the attic. Number D. Whoops, frame D. And there's uh, cockpit detail there. doors there a quick look at the wings as well very very nice as I say it's a first look I don't know much about the uh, the sabre I think I remember building a frog one years ago back in the day but yeah cracking very very nice so that was a quick unboxing and a little review of the sprues seeing what you get inside the box from this Brand new tooled Airfix 1 to 48 scale Canid Air Sabre F4. Code again is A08109. There'll be a link in the description down below where you can buy this kit. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So if you have any comments, put them in the box below and just tell me what you think. But anyways, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Only 10% of you who watch these kinds of videos on my channel are subscribers. So if you can, just click subscribe and ring that bell and click all to be notified on any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Brand new tooled Airfix 1 to 48 scale Canada 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 is Canada, isn't it? Yeah.